So my name is Antoine Oti. I'm the founder and CEO of Lula. While we generally know that things are really tough when it comes to artisanal mining in Eastern Congo, we actually have very little data to show for that. The low quality of data and the cost of getting any data uh, in these areas is something that prevents any progress and impact because, you, as, as the adage says, you know, you can't, if you can't ma measure it, you can't manage it. We're dealing with a population that is very vulnerable, very poor. A lot of people have only access to basic cell phones and many of them are illiterate. Mining activities are impacting their lives in so many ways. They often lack the avenues to express that and start becoming the agents of change in this world. On the other end, you have a number of private sector actors that are sourcing minerals from Congo, from the phones, from the batteries that, that go into many of our products. They want to have a better transparency and visibility into the, the supply chain. So you need to have data that's more robust, that's not at a you know, very high cost and scaled enough so that they can really start making better decisions about the way they, they source their products. A lot of things that are done in, in countries like, like DRC and etc. are often designed from abroad. And I think if you want to really trigger a movement, the first thing you need to do is to listen to people. You're collecting data about people's lives, so you have to have a competing proposition as to why should they, you know, bother giving you five minutes of their time. And so we've learned a great deal as to what works, what doesn't, what are the, the, the challenges of, you know, doing mobile data collection in, in a place like Eastern Congo, which is not easy at all. Matokeo is a crowdsourcing platform that enables miners and communities in Eastern Congo to uh, report on you know, the impact of ASM in terms of environmental, social and human rights impacts and to uh, provide visibility to the corporate sector, governments and civil society organizations so that they can have a greater impact on the, the lives of, of, of the Congolese people. In DRC, I mean, we've been able to reach over 10,000 people now. Some of the miners we've been working with in Peru that started using our system to get pricing information about their product and being able to get more money for, for, for what they were selling. That's, that's when you say, okay, it's, it's not rocket science what we're doing, but it does help them get a, a better life and, and become the drivers of change in, in this supply chain so that you have products that are not harming the planet and not harming the people.